crow berries. See these? They're these tiny little things. And at this time of year, this is really about all that grows up here. Not much. I'm just going to give you a little bit of energy and vitamin C. It's drunk by indigenous people all around the world. In these freezing temperatures, it doesn't get any better than this. It's warm and full of protein. That survival food is really pretty, but that is life-giving. It's minus 20 degrees on this exposed plane. I need to get it gutted and skinned before it freezes solid. The nicest thing about this is just that feeling of warmth in its body. Ah. And that is the warmest that my fingers have been all day. Whoo, that's nice. You get right into its chest cavity just to get the heart. There you go. And look at the size of that for a heart. Whew. But actually, you know, the Eskimos will often eat raw meat. It literally means Eskimo eater of raw meat. And they'll eat it on the go as a way of keeping warm. So well, that's fine to eat, just like that. At least it's warm. This reindeer meat is absolutely frozen solid. But I guess the shavings off this of the fat and the meat, and put that into the boiling water, make a nice, nutritious, warming, Stew. In such extreme temperatures, your body needs double the amount of daily calories. For a man, that's 6,000 a day. Oh, man, that's better. Often all it takes, cooked pork, goes off in a matter of hours. I want to get this on the fire as quickly as I can. And get it between the Achilles tendon and the leg. Put it straight onto this to cook. And you want it just away from the flames. So it doesn't burn. You just cook this nice and slowly. At this time of year, days are short. Night is coming on fast, but there's time to reflect on the battles of the day. This pig very nearly had the better of me this afternoon. It's definitely scared at that point. And I kind of had to improvise and just dive on top of this thing. Go a bit old school with it. But it worked. And look, I've got piggy for dinner. Mm. Definitely worth the battle. Oh, hang on, look. The cricket. See him? I think I can see him there. And everything in this cave is here for a reason. And this is just the sort of place crickets are like. Damp, dark, and they'll be feeding off little insects. But, you know, look at it, if you're an insect, that will be a formidable predator. <sighs> but now it's my turn. There are some deer droppings. You see these? And actually, you can, you can eat these. And because the deer have very fast digestion, they don't actually absorb all of the nutrients uh, out of it. But yeah, you only want to eat it really if it's from a grazer, uh, you know, animal that's living off grasses, berries. Out here in the olden days, they actually used to consider these like little multivitamins. And the reason is they'll absorb most of the nutrients, but leave like a concentrated amount in there. Uh, not gonna whim win any prizes. Rabbits will eat their own droppings at least once to ensure they're fully digested. You won't catch me doing this twice. There you go. Bang on the money. And look, these are the bits you want to be careful of. These barbs here. See that? that little prong just poking out there. And these is whiskers. That's why it's called a catfish. Well, there you go. Look, if I'd had a single prong spear, I would have missed that. I just caught him on the edge of this one. So that was worth doing. Bullseye.
and really want to take his whole head off. And that's all the guts that I don't want. And then all of this is fine to eat. Crunchy and tastes like it looks ugly. But mass is a good protein, good energy. Really going to help any jungle survivor finding fish like this, especially when it's opportunity found. An opportunity. Yeah, tell you what I'm do. Yeah, hold that. <laughs> yeah, look. And now we've got a stinger off. Thank you, that For dinner when I finish my camp. Fire not only makes you feel much better at the end of the day, it also helps keep the mosquitoes away. And in Vietnam, the mosquitoes can be ferocious. There's a story of one US soldier who's driven so mad by them, he ended up sleeping in a paddy field underwater, with just his head poking out. And on his head, he wore a gas mask. But this is going to help keep them away. Most of Vietnam is a malaria zone. You should never underestimate the danger of malaria. About a million people die of it worldwide every year. A smoky campfire will keep the worst of the mosquitoes off and possibly save your life. There you go. Improvised chopsticks and grilled scorpion. of scorpions before but they've always been raw and disgusting but when you cook them they're actually quite nice Ooh. what a frog here you go hold that. and you know almost any frog is good to eat. It might not look very tasty, but actually out here, these are quite a, quite a delicacy. Maybe not raw. Okay. And then that's all the guts here. Get those out. And the rest of that is nice to eat. Known as green chicken to locals, frogs are frequently on the menu in Vietnam, though they're normally cooked first. In the wild, they're generally safe to eat as long as they're not brightly colored. Toads, however, secrete poison and should be avoided.